and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercard Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the find string method. And what the find string method does is it finds the first occurrence of the substring that we're searching for and returns that index position. Now, if it does not find that first occurrence or any of the occurrence, um, it will return a negative 1. Now, it's important to know that we do not use the find string method for everyday searches of a substring. All right, uh, we only use it if we need to know the exact index position of that substring. Now, if we do not, we use the in operator, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, so I'll show you how that works as well in this tutorial at the end of the tutorial. So if you stick around, you get the full blown tutorial. All right, let's go ahead and get started with example number one. We're going to add in, uh, create a string called um, master code online, like that. All right. And we're going to use the find method to find ODE in there. All right. So ODE would be right here. All right. So we're going to do a.find, and we're going to pass in a string of ODE. And that's our substring. So if you hear me say substring or suffix, um, that's what I'm talking about. So there we go. Hit return, and we got eight. So if we count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that is the start of our substring. All right, so that's how the find method works. Next thing we want to see is we can pass another argument in here, and these are positional arguments. Uh, we can do the start um, index argument, which will say, hey, don't start searching for the substring until this index position. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna push up and bring up that uh, string one more time. And we're gonna go ahead and do a.find, and we're gonna look for e this time, and we're gonna look for e at the after the fifth, or at the fifth, at the fifth, or after the fifth index position. So we're gonna pass in five, hit return, and we get 10. All right, so I got an E here. That doesn't look like a 10th index position, but if we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's at the 4th, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it's right here. All right, so we skipped over this one, and we went to this one. So that's how putting the start index can help us. How about if we throw in, uh, let's throw in an end index. End index. Um, let's go ahead and look for E at uh, the fourth index, so I'll just push up again to bring that string back up, and we'll do a.find, and we're going to do e, and then we're going to put in a zero, because we want this to start at the beginning of the string, and then we're going to put four. Let's think about how this is going to work. Well, let's go uh, zero, one, two, three, four. All right, I'm looking for e at four. That should work, right? Nope. We get a negative one, saying it could not find e there. Remember when we put an ending index in? We always have to count back one to find out where it's actually going to end. Now, if we want it all, uh, e for real for reals, we do a dot find e and then zero and then comma five, and we'll get it there at the fourth index position. Alrighty, as promised, we're going to take a look at the in operator. So, if you're looking for a sub uh, a substring in a string and you don't need the index position, then don't use the find, all right? The find's only used for finding that index position. Now, if you just need to know if the um, if this substring is in that string, then use the in operator. So let's take a look at that. We'll go ahead and bring that string up one more time. And this time we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna get our substring here, line in A, so is line in A. A, all right, that's what it says is line in a well look at our string. Uh, I see line right there Yes, line is in a hit return is gonna return true. All right So if we need to know that that substring is in the string The in operator is more effective. All right, so if you guys have any questions, please let us know over at mastercode.online Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about formatting strings. Have a good day